Micro Squad. I am Sam. This is my lovely sister, Becca. Yeah, back again. Back again. Well, today it's a court of sweat and sass. I am the sweat, she is the sass. <laughs> I'm still the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> it could be both. Well, as you can probably guess by our sports bras, it is a court of thorns and roses workout. We're going to encompass all five books. So if you have not read all five, uh, get out now, read them, and then come back to this. If you are joining us on YouTube, the playlist is not synced uh, due to copyright. So we have a fully synced playlist that I spent a lot of time on curating on our microsquad.com. That is part of our memberships. So you know where to find us. Go over there and sign up. Now, we do have this fall in 2022, we are releasing a Valkyrie Squad training program. Oh, is that when that's happening? Yes. Cool. That is when that is happening. So it'll be a three month long program and we'll take you from novice blade all the way up to Valkyrie. Uh, she may make some guest appearances, but we'll even cover mind stilling and get you to that Valkyrie level. Yep. Yep. Okay. So those will be all the announcements, but for today's workout, you will need ankle, ankle weights. So we got one pound ankle weights on. That looks like my hair. And then we've got three pound weights and we have an eight pound weight. You can all, we just have the one eight pound weight. You're more than welcome to grab heavier or lighter. We'll show you modifications to all of the movements. Yep. Yep. We're good. It's mostly low impact. Again, we'll show you if there's anything impacting. We'll show you what modifications there are. Like that plot twist impacts my heart. <sighs> well, there's no ash here, so you'll be safe. Oh, good. <laughs> Okay, so here we get started in a plank position. I forgot about the threat of ash arrows. I'm just so strong, I don't know have to worry about it. Oh, well. Uh, let's come up to the hip. So we're on. So oh my, wow. Now we got the first. <laughs> we're in that full plank position. So shoulders are stacked over those wrists. Core is engaged with the inner thighs together. Now this song. Was picked out by Carol and she thought this was the perfect song for Tamlin. So this is Tamlin's first move. Well, uh, probably the only move for class. We have bears. Yeah. <laughs> Underneath us, and then step the other foot in, and then step it right back out. Then you're alternating. So now that one foot will step in, send it out. Notice how all of my shadows here and here is in that nice, beautiful plank position. Hips are Can you tell I've been working? <laughs> I thought this was going to be harder. <laughs> oh, you make it harder. I wish I could say anything. So I want you to wrap the shoulder blades down away from those ears. Really engage the tricep so the back of the arms stitch towards each other. Here's where that upper body engage. What can we say about tampons here? Not much. We should just leave them behind. <laughs> well, let's never get this one out of the way. Good. Really, there's... Let's see. There really is nothing else for Chandler. So, he starts us off just like he does in the series. And we'll be done with him. We don't need him anymore. This <laughs> just sounds like Chandler like crying in his study. Well, you guys are going to be in a plank position in three, two, one. In that plank position, make sure you've got some room behind you and around you because you're going to hike your hips up so you're going to push yourself back into a downward facing box. You're going to lift your right leg up to the sky and then you're going to shift into a plank position as you draw your right knee to your right elbow. Yeah. Uh, and then push back. There you go. And then just the right side. We're only turn the right side for this so that we will switch. So you're going from downward facing box. Get a little sneaky and a little slide. So this is for Lucian. If we didn't get the fox, you might have me. Your favorite, right? Yes. Right. That's why I'm going to get it. Five, and then three, two, one. Just like Lucian switched. Just like Lucian. <laughs> 
We started it. Becca was putting away these weights down on the floor, poked herself in the eye with the <laughs> plants, and cast herself away from the shadow singer and Adelisha. It was. <laughs> that plant is the most dangerous thing in this room. Good thing it's not made of ash. <laughs> Might as well be it hurts. <laughs> like I said, lots of sweat and sass today. How are we feeling? How are the shoulders? You know, the last time I was here, they were so wobbly, but they're actually doing pretty okay. Yeah, who's been, who's been working out at home? I've been working out. I gotta be <laughs> with my mental Cassian trainer. Yeah. We're gonna hold it our plank in three, two, one, right here. We are going to sprint it out up to the top of Mount Romeo. Mount climbers in three, two, one. Pump those knees. I in. still hate these. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm too, are you destroying my I'm, training ring? I'm too strong. I need more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you ever feel like you need more seconds, go ahead and strap on some more ankle and wrist weights. Some heavier ones if you got it. You are almost done. We're getting off our shoulders here. We're going to pick up the three pound weight in three, two, one. Come on up. Take up the lightest set of weights. <laughs> Away from the plant. Away from the plant. You're going to soften in the knees. The feet are about hip width distance apart. You're going to bend the elbows in and you're going to open up that book of breathing. Do not be tempted by it. Just open and close it. Can you take it one page at a time and then close it? I can't just bend read it. No. Like I did the whole series. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to know how long it took you guys to read the entire series. I think I started at it in a month. How long did it take you? Like three weeks? I think? Yeah. Yeah. We, <laughs> the binge was real, and you're already on your reread. Yeah, I kind of paused my reread. Well, I'm on Wings and Road right now. Ah. So, we're getting there. We got the book of breathings. What you're doing in this one is you're, as you're opening up that book, you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Because you do still have to make your back strong to be an Illyrian warrior, right? Yes. Working those wings. And your ass. And your ass. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite parts is when Fair is trying to land and Cassie's like, back She's like, I can't. <laughs> or when the tree was there, wasn't there before. Yeah. Uh, as is exactly will come back from the looks of it in 200 years. <laughs> oh, as. Got one, as. How are your shoulders feeling? No, okay? Yeah, well, are we doing more shoulders next? Yeah. Okay. Kind okay, of, sort of. Alright, as long as you be there instead. We're gonna reach those arms straight out in front of us in three, two, one. So press those arms straight out. Your hands are right at shoulder level. You're going to curl the hands in as if you are drinking goblets of blood. This is for Amrin. <laughs> and like the song. What is this? There will be blood. <laughs> so you gotta guzzle down that blood. This is filled with lots of iron and nutrients. You're gonna squeeze that core, pull that belly button in. Squeeze the glutes, remember? You still got those leery wings reaching out nice and wide, so we gotta make sure that ass is nice. Yep. I mean, as is nice and strong, so your ass has to be nice and strong. As, as for you. <laughs> oh boy. I can't wait for about to be training when you're adding your little anecdotes every so often. Like, I'm not doing that now. I got the whole training squad. It'll be a little serious. Yeah, how are those feeling? Is that blood heavy? Yeah, there's, there's a lot. I don't know how I ever do this. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah, my thing, like, what did I do? <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Uh, we're going to hold those arms straight out. Sorry for your shoulders. In three, two, one. So hold it straight out. You're not all okay. You're going to hold one arm back and then reach it forward, pull the other one back. Gee, I wonder what this is a reference. I wonder. Poor Cage. Couldn't be my high lady. It is your high lady. Or, you know, if you think about it, if you just change the angle of it and you throw a shoe at the high lord. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great turn. <laughs> you just kind of pull it back and reach out. Kind of like a bicep press, kind of like a shoe. Either way, you are eating. Dead Kendra in front of you. 
If the waist are getting heavy, you can always place them down. Oh wow! I thought you were working out with this drug. <laughs> Mostly as his wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> right, Melissa? Pull that in towards that spine. Neutral, neutral back. So flip that tailbone out just a bit. Yeah, there you go. Once again, we're working the back. So these are reverse flies, but you're working through that upper back. It must be hard to fly in reverse. <laughs> back fly, like you said, back fly. Yeah, but like fully reversed. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. So, most of us have the bra strap that go right down the center of our back. I want you to think of trying to squeeze that bra strap with your shoulder blades. What we're working is those wings, those uh, shoulders, scapula, off my word there. They do this, they flap. Sorry, your wingspan is a little thick. Yeah, I know. I misjudged it. <laughs> How are the shoulders feeling now? <laughs> They're ready for another flight. Good, cause uh, we've got we've we've got to go find the cauldron. Oh, wonderful! We're gonna stand all the way up in three. All right. <laughs> and a dramatic pause in two and one. Stand all the way up. I'm gonna be face up. Palms are gonna face out. We're dropping circle like it's the opening of a cauldron. That my wingspan. Wing oh, I know. <laughs> Make sure you got room around you. So soft bend of the elbows. You're drawing that big circle. The arms are shaking a little bit. You're just imagining things. It's the wind. <laughs> What'd you say? It's the wind. <laughs> no, yeah, there's a lot of wind in here. Yeah. Sorry, we're not on the top of the house with wind. <laughs> but one thing, as you reach up, try not to puff up your chest too much. I want you to draw that rib cage down, drop the shoulders. Should we weave that rib cage together? Oh, you should weave that rib cage together. That was good. Good job. Don't worry, the weaver has her own group. Their own group. She? I think it's a she. Well, they have their own group. Do you want to be progressive? I am. As she am as I am too. <laughs> In my old age, I've got to. Okay? <laughs> Me. You're 30, you're pretty 30 something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're 20 something. That's, that's young for a day. That's very young for a day. But we're going to go for a little swim. We're going to lay down on our bellies. And we keep those weights. We got to go find so the mass. In three, two, two one. So lay down on your belly. Keeping those weights. I'm going to be turned to face the. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, it's that plan. <laughs> That's what those books are trauma. So raise your uh, arms straight out in front of you. Palms are going to face down. Just to the floor. You're going to sweep the arms to your hips as you lift your chest with the legs. Yeah, there you go. And then reach it forward. You gotta go swimming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you got dragged down into that bog. Mm. <laughs> I got trauma. Cool. <laughs> One of my worst fears is the darkest water. <laughs> I don't know how I got through that one. Yeah, I'm shocked you did. I barely did. While you're in this one, it's not feeling your lower back, so I want you to think of your tailbone pushing towards the heel, and your feet are both pressing into the floor. That way your eyes are the core really engages. We're not focusing on how high those feet come off, but you can just lift them up just a half an inch even, and then bring it back down. Oh, oh, 
you go. Oh yeah, this is one of your pack, so like as prescribed dogs. Become Cass's in a quick second. <laughs> a little bit of form. When you cross the leg behind, try to keep those hips pointing forward. And as you lunge down, make sure that front knee is stacked over the ankle, it's not pushing too far forward. Yeah. Front tip here is if you squeeze those legs towards each other, you get a really big inner thigh movement, and then lower core as well. Yeah, but look at the thighs for this second. Yeah. Did I really convince him? Yeah. Yeah. It's 
about that later. <laughs> but, so he was reading it last night, and it got to the point where Farrah's now teaching herself to read. Or what, whatever, like she's in the library, and she, she's like trying to write words down. We know where this is going, I can't really tell him where it was going with the poems and stuff, but he goes, oh, I see why you like Pharaoh. I like why she's illiterate and you can't do math. It's like the same thing. Them. I'm gonna show side view. Okay. So we're gonna do this one together. So you're gonna give me a squat. Go all the way down to that squat. You're gonna take your right foot, step about halfway back, squat a little deeper, come up, step that right foot all the way back to that lunge, come up, and then back to that half step. Then back to your squat, come all the way up, and squat it down left leg. You're gonna take it back to that halfway point, squat down. Step it all the way down. Just watch me back. Back away. <laughs> you guys got it, right? You need to those hips are pushing no, down. Now, Becca, why are you doing this? Because that is every time I picture Helion, it's never actually Helion. Like, I can see him in the background. But all I see is, like, in big word art font, this powerful thighs. I got you wrapped around my finger. For some reason, that stuck out to me. Just watch me break. I thought it was Fader or Chris Breaker. Well, yeah, but the other one. Oh, spell three. Spell three. That's the Let's try to make it work. This is spell three, right? shifting your hips. So what's happening is that leg is drawn, that ring go over the, the left shin that is down. Because you're gonna go that the ring go, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all of your glute. You should be feeling that hamstring. Do me a favor and point your toe for me. As if you're taking one of Messi's dance classes. <laughs> We're lifting it up nice and high, not dropping into that left hip, squeezing the core. That should be a clue of what's going to be next. We're going to need Elaine Salve after this. We need a what? Elaine Salve. <laughs> we should create a <laughs> you know that TikTok, TikTok sounds like emotional, damage, emotional, that's what it's for. I forgot to watch me. 
still catch the last bit of this workout. <laughs> Like, defies, like, Nessian. <laughs> you guys are going to beat me in that forearm plank. If you can, you're going to be up on the toes. If not, you can be down on the knees or bring it up to a couch or the wall. I will show you those options in three, two, one. Come to your plank position on your forearms. Yeah. Now you can drop, pop, pop it up to the couch or you can be here on the wall at an angle. Drop that booty down. All you're gonna do is reach out your hand, reach out in front of you. Reach out in front of you, reach your hand out. Reach your hand out, and then bring it back. If you need more stability, spread your legs a little bit wider. Yep, reach your hand out, keep reaching out your hand. I don't wanna keep reaching out. <laughs> keep reaching out your hand. <laughs> there you go, drop it. Wow. <laughs> Me and Alina 
that like interact like the bat boys. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah. I think we are bat boys at heart. <sighs> now we're gonna switch sides. In three, two, one. We are so close to the end squad. But so much can happen. <laughs> Inhale, bring it back down. Exhale. 
off, press it out. You were born for this, just remember that. Tap into those pipes. Tap into that pipe. <laughs> you were born for this. Strengthening that core. This will get sneaky real quick. <laughs> on your next one, I want you to extend one leg out. It's almost like a bicycle. And then you'll bend the knee, bring it back in as you lower. There you go. So press one leg out as you reach up. Beautiful. Looks like a bicycle, right? And then you bring it back. Next time you press it out, you extend the other leg. How are we feeling so far? <sighs> Let's your hands <laughs> and then press it out. Like Synchronize your breath with this. So every time you peel yourself up, I want you to exhale. Draw your belly button down, keep it towards your spine. As you relax back, I want you to inhale. Take that nice deep breath. Stay in that mind. How much did you love that? Tap out the 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 tap that's just love. That's just love. That was just so cool. On the next one, you're going to send one leg out. In three, two, one. Extend all the way out. Pull yourself up. You do not need to go on that part. So as you... I'm so sorry. I'm kidding there. As you extend out, the feet don't need to lower that far. There you go. for healing. Yes, go see Maja for healing. Uh, maybe take some of the lanes like healing salve and rub it all over your body for it in a tub and just soak in it. <laughs> and remember, there is a curse breaker workout. Obviously there's this one and then there is a intro to the Valkyrie training program just as a full workout. Rebecca will be here as well for that one. And then stay tuned for our launch of Valkyrie squad in the fall of 2022. And that wraps it up. Yep. Yeah, and I am Sam, Sam, I am this is Becca. Remember, be strong, kick ass, and be fucking magical. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the Micro Squad. Please don't forget to subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and check out our on-demand classes. They are on our website, themicrosquad.com, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>